Welcome to another episode of Alan's Collection. Today we celebrate the release of the Disney Plus series Echo, a character who appeared originally in the Daredevil comics. And what better way uh, to celebrate this than to review Daredevil, Elektra and Bullseye. So let's begin! Marvel Legends Bullseye Daredevil Electra 3 pack. Okay, guys, here we have the outer box for the Daredevil Marvel Legends 3 pack. And this is a plastic free packaging, so we don't see the actual product yet. But we can see a nice artwork behind the three figures. It's probably Hell's Kitchen. We can see a lot of buildings on the back and Daredevil, the man without fear, in big letters. And of course the added pictures of the three figures, Bullseye, Daredevil and Elektra. And below we have some warnings. Let's now check the side of the box. Here we have two images of the figures. First Bullseye throwing his daggers and below we have Elektra with her sigh. Check in the back of the box. We have a large image of the three figures. First, Bullseye with the accessories, Daredevil and his accessories as well. And lastly, the beautiful Elektra and her accessories. And below we have some warnings and legal information. On the other side of the box, we have a full picture of Daredevil himself with his weapon unsheathed. And now we're back to the front of the box. Now let's check out the inner box, guys. So this is part of the inner packaging, guys. As you can see, the figures are protected by an extra layer of corrugated cardboard. And inside we have the figures wrapped in tissue paper. So let's get them out and let's see who is who. So here we have them. Here we have the last layer of protection, just the tissue paper. The figures, of course, are inside the partial see-through paper tissue. And of course, the accessories come protected by the tissue paper as well. So let's start with the left one. As you can see, this is Elektra in her white costume, looking absolutely beautiful. And below we have her accessories, including her extra head sculpt. Now let's check out the other one. As you can see, this is Daredevil himself. Very, very cool. We have his accessories, extra hands, all his weapons, including the billy club. No extra head sculpt. And lastly, let's check out the third figure. And this is, of course, as you can see, Bullseye. And below we have the accessories, let's check them out. And here we have the accessories, the extra hands, the extra head sculpt, and the weapons. And a hand with the throw-in daggers, guys. Very cool! So let's check them out one by one, starting with Electra guys. Here we have Electra in her vanilla pose. This is, of course, her 1964 issue number 190 Daredevil resurrected version. And what stands out, it's her awesome sculpted hair. Her white dress or white outfit is carefully painted. This wraps around her biceps 
arms, thighs and shins. She also wears a white leotard, as you can see there. And below, she's wearing an apron, very similar to Street Fighter's Chung Li. Now, let's check out the head sculpt. Her hair is sculpted beautifully. Her bandana has this wind effect that plays well with the wind effect that her hair also has. The face is neat and clean. The red lips, blue eyes and focused expression make a nice impression in any collection. Now, let's check out the articulation, guys. Now let's check out the articulation for Electra, guys. And let's start with the head. You can move the head a little bit down, a little bit up, just a little bit. Down, up, down, just a bit. You can move to the left just a bit, but you can move to the right, you can move. And you can tilt the head to the left and to the right like this. Now let's check out the torso articulation. Electra has an av crunch and it can move a little bit forward and a little bit backwards. Electra can also move the torso to the left and the torso to the right very smoothly. And the torso wobbles, as you can see, can wobble there. This is the upper torso, of course, but the lower torso doesn't move at all, so there's no hip articulation, guys. Now let's check out the arm articulation. You can move the arm forward. You can move the arm backwards. And you can also move the arm out. And we have here bicep articulation. You can rotate the bicep all the way like this. And next we have elbow articulation. This is a double jointed elbow articulation. And you can flex the elbow like this very nicely. And back again. And down here we have hand articulation. You can move the hand up and down. And you can rotate the hand as well completely. Finally, let's check leg articulation. You can do a frontal kick. You can move the leg backwards. And you can move the leg out. And we have a thigh cut here. You can rotate the thigh completely like this. Very cool. And below we have knee articulation. We have a double jointed knee and you can bend the knee like this very nicely we do not get a shin cut but we do get foot articulation there is no toe articulation and that's it for electra's articulation guys okay guys here we have the accessories for electra and starting with the extra head sculpt a very very cool nicely sculpted extra head sculpt very different to the normal head sculpt this one has messy hair, I would say. Anyways, as you can see, it's nicely sculpted, all the messy hair. And instead of a bandana, this brings a white headband. The headband falling down there behind the, the messy hair. And of course, the, the face expression is really, really cool. Blue eyes, red lips, absolutely fantastic extra head sculpt, guys. Next we have the weapons, starting with the very nice katana, silver grey blade. Has some detail there, some detailed patterns there, which make it look like wood painted in black. Next we have the size, an alternate weapon for Electra. These weapons can be used to fight against the hand or command the hand, as you know, Electra has done both. And now we have the extra fist hands, the alternate fist hands. Very, very cool. So that's it for the accessories, guys. Let's check out Daredevil. Okay, guys, here we have Daredevil in vanilla pose. And of course, he's looking very, very devilish. He's looking very red, looking very cool. And what catches my eye is the painted double D that he has in the chest, the Daredevil logo on the upper torso on the chest it's 
painted in orange to contrast the red outfit guys the sculpted abs the sculpted muscles really really stand out there very cool he has this uh, plastic belt in the middle and of course the the arms are nicely sculpted you can appreciate the lines in the muscles as well as in the neck the thighs the knees the legs very muscly figure guys on the left leg we have the holster that's where the billy clubs go they're devil's most classic weapon the billy clubs guys so we have a place there to holster the billy clubs speaking about the head sculpt it's of course the classic daredevil face mask with the horns on the top devilish horns the red eyes very very cool guys let's check this figure's articulation okay guys let's check out daredevil's articulation so let's start with the head you can move the head a little bit down as you can see and up like this you can also move the head to the left and move the head to the right and of course you can tilt the head left and tilt the head right now let's check out the torso articulation guys and here we have a ball joint you can move the torso forward and you can move the torso backwards like that and you can also move the torso to the left and the torso to the right and you can tilt the torso a little bit to the left and to the right you can wobble the torso like this daredevil also has an ab crunch let's check out the arm articulation the arm moves forward the arm moves backwards like this and the arm moves out you can also check out the butterfly joints daredevil does bring butterfly joints as you can see clear there the arm has bicep articulation you can rotate the the biceps very nicely and also daredevil has elbow articulation guys you can flex the elbow very nicely as he has double jointed elbow articulation and finally he has hand articulation you can move the hand up and down and you can rotate the hand as well rotate the wrist very nicely now moving to leg articulation you can move the leg forward you can barely move the leg backwards as you can see the hips don't allow for more movement but you can move the leg out and daredevil has a thigh cut as you can see here you can rotate the thigh very nicely and he also has a double jointed knee articulation you can bend the knee like this all the way up until here daredevil also has a shin cut so you can rotate the shin as well and daredevil has foot articulation he can move the foot down and up and also toe articulation you can move the toe up and back again so daredevil is equipped with a lot of articulation around his body absolutely fantastic guys now let's check out daredevil's accessories okay guys let's check now the accessories for daredevil starting with the unfolded or unsheathed billy clubs and next to it we have the extended effects it's not wired it's just plastic but what you can do is place the billy club in each end like this you place it like this in one end and the other billy club you place it like that so you can display daredevil fighting with the extended billy club against a foe an enemy and here we have the other extended effect of course you can do the same but i'll just leave it like that 
Now let's check out the interchangeable hands. We have a fist hand here and a gripping hand here. You're wondering where is the other fist hand? Where is the other gripping hand? Well, the figure itself came with the other fist hand and the other gripping hand, so don't worry, it's complete. And that's it for the accessories, guys. Here we have Bullseye in his vanilla pose. And of course, what catches our eye is that psychopathic face expression, but we'll talk about the head sculpt in a moment. Of course, this is his look from the 2017 Running with the Devil event, where he featured in his own limited series. This is a more modern look, with his torso showcasing a bright blue color that combines with the more traditional elements from his classic costume like the white and black lines on the upper torso, moving up to the neck, and of course his black around the legs and arms. As you can see the arms are black on the biceps and moving down it's white and black lines. The legs keep the same pattern of black on the thighs and knees and on the shin is black lines with white boots. And of course there we have the belt, the weapons belt. He can keep his ammunition there. And of course we have there the weapon holster that is attached to the thigh. And of course on the back you can see the knife holster. Very cool guys. Now speaking about the head sculpt, of course his classic bullseye on the forehead. The target there, the white and black circle lines. And of course the, the head mask, black head mask. And his psychopathic laugh, psychopathic expression of course you can see in his eyes and mouth guys. Very cool, very neat. Okay guys, let's check out the articulation for Bullseye. So, starting with the head sculpt, you can move the head down, move the head up, and you can move the head to the left, and move the head to the right. And you can tilt a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, left, right, left, right. Now let's check out the torso articulation. Bullseye has an ab crunch and you can move the torso forward and you can lean the torso backwards as well. It has a hip articulation so you can move completely to the left and the complete torso to the right. We have butterfly joints guys. Okay guys, let's check out the arm articulation. As you can see, the arm moves forward and the arm moves backwards. And of course, the arm moves out. And this figure has bicep articulation and we also have elbow articulation, guys. You can flex the elbow all the way up to here. We have a double jointed elbow articulation there so you can nicely flex the elbow. And finally for the arm articulation we have wrist articulation or hand articulation. So you can move the hand up and down. And of course you can rotate completely the wrist as you can see here. That's it for arm articulation. Let's check out the leg articulation. You can move the leg forward. But, like their devil figure, you cannot move the leg backwards much, just a tiny bit. However, we have a thigh cut there. You can rotate the thigh completely, guys. And then we have knee articulation. We have a double jointed knee, and you can bend the knee all the way up to here. Nicely articulated. And we also have a shin cut. You can rotate the shin completely as well. And finally we have foot articulation. You can move the foot up and down. But we do not have toe articulation. Anyways, that's it for the articulation guys. Now let's check bullseye's accessories. Okay guys, here we have the accessories for bullseye. And let's start with the extra 
interchangeable head sculpt. It's an unmasked head sculpt, guys. Very nicely sculpted, and I very much like the carved bullseye on the forehead, guys. Really, really cool. A very nicely symmetrical scar. And of course, this is a yelling face expression. I like it that the mouth has been painted really nicely. You can see the tongue, the teeth, a lot of detail. All add up to a very, very cool extra head sculpt. I think I like this one more than the, the one that he comes with. Next, we're gonna check out the weapons, guys. Here we have a throwing effect with a hand attached to it. Very cool to make some very cool poses, fighting poses. So here we have the throwing effect. Next, we have the black knife. Very cool. We also have a holster in the figure for this knife for you to put it if you don't want to display the figure wielding the knife, but the knife sheeted into the holster. You can do that as well. And lastly, we have the interchangeable hands. We have a, an extra fist hand, an extra gripping hand, and finally we have a pointing finger. Like he's pointing a gun, but he's just pointing his finger. It's funny that this figure brings a pistol holster, but not the pistol itself. I believe this would be the substitute for the pistol. Anyways, that's it for the accessories, guys. Okay guys, here we have the Marvel Legends Daredevil 3-pack from Hasbro. These are all classic characters from the Daredevil comic books. Daredevil appeared in his own comic book for the first time. Daredevil number one back in April 1964. And although he wore a yellow suit, he has kept this red suit for most of his comic book life. We have seen Daredevil in many, many stories, helping the Avengers, saving Hell's Kitchen, as an attorney, helping people in during the day and during the night, of course, fighting mobsters, fi fighting gangs. So he's a very, very cool, classic character. Speaking about Elektra, Elektra wore an all-white costume after her resurrection in issue 190 of the Daredevil comic book from 1964. In that story, the Hand wanted to resurrect Elektra and Daredevil wanted to stop this process, but he saw that he could make this process a bit more pure. So he helped in the end resurrect Elektra. Bullseye is based on an arc which is called Running with the Devil and Bullseye is given several missions to accomplish. In the end he chooses to help the son of a mobster who is kidnapped by a drug cartel in Colombia. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this review. Do not forget to give a like, comment which of these figures did you like the most. It's great to have figures from different storylines. Do not forget to give a like and of course subscribe and I'll see you next on Alan's Collection.